All right, it's time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to discuss uh, polynomials and what they are. Well, basically, a polynomial is defined as, let's say, p of x is just a function equals to a n x to the power of n and goes to plus a n minus 1 x n minus 1. And yeah, and it keeps it keeps going on and on and on until you have. So it's just this is a general uh, way of writing it. Then you'll have a a one x that's x to the one or x one and then plus a zero, where a a n uh, all the way to a zero. These are just uh, constants. So they could be any any negative number, positive number, it doesn't matter. Just a constant. So they they're not variables. Like x is a variable. And then so n, and then this top part here, where yeah, where n, and then all the way let's say n minus one, and then and all the way to uh, zero, whatever. Uh, these are just integers. Integers, but non-negative, so non-negative. Uh, so it's just it's just numbers like yeah, negative. Yeah, so it's just like I don't know, ten, nine. Eight, seven, etc. Just, just regular numbers. Okay. And, and uh, yeah, and the domain of, of this is uh, just all real numbers. So all real numbers. You see my other video for what domain are. So this is just basically uh, x can be any value. Any value it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, so if um, let's say if a and the leading uh, constant or coefficient is not equal to zero, then the degree is just um, n. We call this the, the degree of the polynomial uh, is n. Is n. So for for example, uh, so if let's say n was one, for n is equal to one. We'll look at this equation. We'll just write, uh, so this will be p of x. This is for n equals 1. So that's degree 1. And this one will just be a1 x1 one plus a, this is n minus 1, right? So then this is just 0 x0. Zero. And if you see my other video, this x0 is just 1. Then, yeah, so this, this is just a x plus. A zero and this is the this is similar to uh, just the equation of a line m x plus b. So yeah, degree one is just um, linear or um, equation of a line of a line. So that's just this form uh, m and uh, m is the slope x is, uh, and b is the um, y intercept. So if you were to go n equals two, this would be uh, similar again. You just so yeah, basically linear one. It's a polynomial. So then you'll just for x n is equal to two, you'll have again a two x two plus a one x one, and then again plus a zero. So then yeah, and this is this is similar to this. Yeah, this is just, you could also write it as, as a x squared plus bx plus c and this is just a quadratic equation quadratic equation so and then if you were to look at let's say n equals 3 this is uh, it's getting redundant now but it's a uh, it's the same thing you're gonna go equals a3 x3 plus a2 x2 plus a1 x plus a zero and yeah this is this is just a cubic function so this is cubic cubic function so uh, if you look at the graphs of them we'll just go graphs for uh, n equals one uh, is this linear so it's just something like this it, so it's just a random so that's that's it why X. So th this is the uh, that's p of x. So for n equals one, for n equals two, it's just a parabola. 
So then we'll just go again, x, y. So it is just a parabola. It could be like that, or it could be even downward, or it could be like that, depending on, depending on the coefficients. So this is just a parabola. And then n equals 3, uh, n equals 3 would just look like, so n, n equals 3 would just look like something like this. It would go up and then, or it, it would look something like this. This is, again, y. I'll actually show you another video on uh, how, to gra how to actually get these. Right. And if, even if you were to go, let's say, n equals 4, and then if you were to, gra to graph a similar equation, it would look something like this. If I go right, x, this is y. So it would actually look something like this. It would go like this. It would go down and change again. So it looks like this shape for n equals 4. As you can see, there's a similar pattern here for x is 1. It goes from it, it opposite sides. It goes up high. It goes down here. And parabola, this one, it, it, it's it, they both go up. So it both curves up. And then this one for n equals 3, it, you can see the pattern here. This goes like this. It's similar to the odd. So when you look at the odd and even, this one's like it goes straight up. This one goes up and down. And this one, it goes up and down, but it, it stays up all the time at the near the ends. And if you go n equals 5, uh, this would actually look something like x, this is y. So it, it would look something like this. It would go down here this way. And then it would go like this. And then it would curve again. And then it goes back up there so for, to infinity. So these are, it looks something like that. You can see the, the, the pattern here for even. Yeah, so you can see a pattern for even and odd degrees. Yeah, pattern. So yeah, you can see that for odd it goes up and down and then even it stays at one direction but it, it has some curves depending on the, deg the degree. Well that's, uh, I'll show you another video how to actually graph these and why they look like that. But uh, yeah, well that's basically polynomials, cubic function, quadratic, linear, and th those are all uh, polynomials and there's this general form. Well, uh, hopefully you learned something, and uh, well, tune in for another math easy solution.